This video is about the one prompt that will improve your business every single day. I've been using this prompt every day for the past several months and it has greatly improved my ability to lead the organizations that I'm a part of. I'm excited to share not only this prompt with you today, but how I came up with it, as I think this process will help you learn to use AI in an unconventional way that will have many benefits. In a way, these steps create a blueprint for implementing AI into every aspect of your business, from sales to operations to leadership and more. I think this can help business leaders at all levels whether you're a seasoned veteran looking to refine your strategies or you're a brand new entrepreneur seeking a foundation of AI to help you grow your business. In addition to the one crucial prompt, I also want to share with you some sales and marketing prompts, some operations and process automation prompts, as well as some compliance and risk management prompts. It was working through all of these that helped me create the one single prompt that will improve your business every day. My first step into coming up with this all-encompassing prompt was my research into sales and marketing. I've been running a marketing agency for 10 years, so this is my area of expertise and it's what most people look to me for. The sales and marketing components of any business fall into these four categories. Target market analysis, sales and marketing strategy, relationship management, including building strong relationships with clients, suppliers, and partners as well as performance metrics so this was the first area I researched uh, when I was started working with LLMs like chat GPT and here are a handful of prompts that I came up with for each section I'm not going to read each of these to you but I think that uh, you can take a screenshot of these and I also want to mention that I have a cheat sheet version of all of this available in my patreon uh, it has all of the uh, prompts that we're going to go through, including the one single prompt that will improve your business every single day. And that's available there in my Patreon, along with many other cheat sheets just like it. So here are a few prompts that have been really helpful for me uh, when doing target market analysis. Here are a few for sales and marketing strategy. I'm going to show you what some of these generate here in just a second. Uh, here are a few when it comes to relationship management. So these are all the areas of sales and marketing. You want to make sure none of these areas are neglected. Uh, and here, as far as performance metrics go, what should I be watching as far as my sales and marketing uh, ROI goes? All right, so I'd like to just show you what some of these prompts generated inside of ChatGPT. I'm using GPT-4, which is GPT+, Plus. that's the paid version, but these prompts will work well with any large language model. I know there are a lot of other powerful models coming out onto the scene, so they should work well with any of them. So here is its response when I entered the prompt, what is a step-by-step -step process for identifying and analyzing my target audience gave me a ton of great things to think about and you can customize these prompts to your specific business you can even ask it to ask you a few questions about your business so it gives you even more detailed results here is another prompt from the sales and marketing section let's work together to create a report a template and analyze the ROI of our marketing campaigns how do we begin and this was from the tracking and metrics section of the slide deck that I just shared with you. And it helps you to uh, create a template for measuring ROI. So that's just a couple of the many prompts from the sales and marketing section here. Let's now get into the operations because after I completed the sales and marketing uh, research, I started to think of other areas of the business that large language models like ChatGPT can help with. Operations was the number one that came to mind. So here are the four components of uh, operating any business. Process mapping, quality control, tech utilization, and scalability planning. So I've created some prompts for each one of these sections that can be very, very helpful. And these are the prompts for uh, operations. Again, I'm not going to read these to you, but feel free to take a screenshot or check out my cheat sheet in the Patreon. Here are a few for quality control and a few for tech utilization. And I should note here on the tech utilization, uh, this one that asks for recommend software solutions for enhancing remote team collaboration. I would recommend using Perplexity AI. I believe that's the number one tool for anything that needs to search the web. ChatGPT is great for reasoning 
and so forth, but it's not great for coming up with, um, you know, up-to-date recommendations on software, etc. as its training data was from a couple years ago. Perplexity AI is the tool that you want to use for anything that you're you know, kind of like a Google search, anything that you want up to the minute information on, whether you're searching for, you know, new guides, new news, or, um, you know, new software. Check that out. Moving on here, scalability prompts, helping me think through potential bottlenecks to scaling our operations and designing processes to mitigate these potential problem areas. That is a great prompt in and of itself that can help in many areas. Let's just flip back to see what ChatGPT, how it responded to a few of these. Um, scrolling down here, please help me document and streamline our core business process. So right away, just helping uh, you get started documenting, and that's the first step to streamlining and then ideally automating parts of your business, potentially using AI. Uh, here's that one that I went through. Help me think through bottlenecks to scaling our operations and design some processes to mitigate these potential problem areas. You might want to add into that prompt. Please ask me a few questions about my situation so that you can customize the response to your particular business context. And here it walks you through. Uh, all sorts of different areas to watch out for, things that have traditionally hurt people when they're trying to scale. Uh, so these are some things you might want to look out for. And then you can always ask the LLM. You can say, well, hey, you know, number six is actually very important to me. Can you give me more information about that? And, you know, continue to refine these different uh, barriers to scaling. So after operations, you know, the only thing I could think of was the back office. Um, so financial management, HR management, administrative systems, legal compliance. Um, you know, I'd gone from sales through operations. Now these seemed like the, the last critical components to really running any business. Here are some great prompts for financial management. Here are some great prompts for HR management. And again, take a screenshot. Uh, administrative systems uh, as well. So now let's see what ChatGPT, how it responded to a few of these. Help me analyze my financial practices, including budgeting, forecasting, and compliance. This is something that a lot of people struggle with. Just how do I get started figuring out what my problems are with my financial uh, situation, with my budgeting, with maybe it's taxes. You can ask it all sorts of questions about uh, taxes in your area. Good questions. You can ask it for good questions to bring up to your accountant uh, to make sure that you know they're on point with all of the deductions that you could be making. So again, here is budgeting analysis, forecasting analysis, all from that one prompt. So at this point in my process, I had analyzed sales and marketing, I had analyzed operations, I had analyzed back office, but there was still something missing and I, uh, it took me a while to figure this out, but it really came back to leadership. So vision and mission, some of those bigger picture things. And that's what I want to get into next. So these are the components of leadership that I came up with. Self-assessment, vision and mission, team alignment, and continuous development. This is the invisible quadrant of your business that often gets neglected when you're just jumping in and looking at sales, looking at how to streamline operations. This was the final component that I found, and this is probably the most important one. These are some of the self-assessment prompts that I have found very useful here. Uh, here are a few of the vision and mission. Uh, these can be really helpful, especially when you're working on drafting these um, to the team. It can be very helpful to use large language models like ChatGPT to really refine your vision and mission and think through ways where it's really going to resonate with the team rather than just telling everybody, hey, here's what you're doing. Uh, you know, I think anybody who's been around long enough understands that you need to cultivate a very, um, you know, unique culture that uh, ensures everyone is with you on that mission and working back and forth with ChatGPT can really help with that. On that same note, once you've got the vision and mission documentation together, building ways with the LLM to align the team behind that, especially tweaking them to your unique culture, whatever that might be. 
uh, and continuous development. So this is the number one thing when you want to be an adaptable, flexible leader, figuring out ways that you can you know, kind of see what's coming around the bend and prepare for it. Okay, so here are just some of the answers that ChatGPT gave for all of that. Help me understand my leadership style, including my strengths, weaknesses, and areas for improvement. This was just a brilliant exercise. I go through this frequently, and it gives you some ideas of what your leadership style might be, helps you assess your strengths and weaknesses. A lot of these give you, give you some questions and things to think about. Then you can enter in your different criteria, what you think about yourself, and you have a little bit of back and forth with ChatGPT to help refine your leadership abilities. So... This all was a ton of prompts, as you might imagine, and I kept thinking to myself, how can I continuously make sure that I'm not neglecting any aspect of what we've talked through so far? And that's what led me to this number one most important prompt uh, that I use on a daily basis, and it's massive. So I'm going to go through this uh, on a couple different screens so it's a little bit more clear here. But this is basically a list of all of the things that we went through, and it starts with this, each day can you give me a small exercise or concept to focus on related to one of these areas, rotating through them as the days go on. Here are the areas which I wish to focus on. So this, getting back to that continual learning, continual improvement, this helps make sure that you're staying on point with each of these critical aspects to your business. I typically use the ChatGPT app for this, so I have this stored in my chat history. I can easily find it because I'm using it every day. When I In the morning when I wake up, I just, you know, ask it, hey, what is our exercise for the day? And it will walk me through an exercise focused on one of these, rotating through them. So I'm continuously improving each of these aspects. Uh, breaking that down, here's the first part of the prompt. I tried to blow it up a little bit uh, so that you can grab a screenshot of that. And this is the second part of that prompt. You want all of that in there because you want to make sure that you're not neglecting any one of those areas. But maybe you're just focused on operations and you might just want to put operations in there. Or maybe you're just, you know, the VP of business development. You want to just focus on business development and just put that one in there. That's fine. If you're the CEO, if you're the president, you probably want all of these in there. And now let me just show you a little bit of the responses that I get from using this all-important, all-encompassing prompt so you can see I've loaded it all in there chat GPT can for sure store all of this in its memory uh, that's one uh, key aspect with large language models like chat GPT a lot of people think the prompts need to be very short they can be very very long they do have a limit that's called the context window I have other videos exploring that uh, but in in short you can put uh, quite a bit of information in there so it says, certainly, let's start rotating through these four categories, for focusing on a different concept each day. Here's your task for the day, focusing on leadership. So this one wants me focusing on my uh, analyzing my leadership style, identify your style, identify your strengths and weaknesses, etc. So I put in a little bit of a response here, and it generated um, a great action plan for improving my weaknesses, doubling down on my strengths, etc there and then it says tomorrow we'll move on to the next concept but feel free to ask if you have any further questions so i have with this with this massive prompt turned chat gpt into a very valuable business consultant a coach that is working with me day in day out to improve my skills as a leader and improve every area of my business. Some final tips I want to leave you with. You can always ask the LLM to ask you questions considering adding this to each prompt. Please ask me any questions that might help you understand my unique situation and ensure your answers are as customized and actionable as possible. So I didn't want to add that to every single prompt, but you certainly can. That can be very helpful. It'll generate a list of questions. If you've seen my other videos, I recommend getting through those questions fairly quickly, giving short, sweet answers. And there are some questions that you might want to skip. It'll give you a ton of questions. Don't get bogged down. Uh, just write a few things in there and allow it to customize its recommendations to you. 
um, integration, remembering that all of these four quadrants that we went through are interconnected. So success in one area can positively impact the others. With that in mind, you might want to focus on activities that may improve the organization as a whole the fastest and sort of steer your work in that direction. A couple other tips to think about. Uh, continuous improvement. Embrace a culture of continuous improvement and encourage feedback at all levels of, of your organization. You might want to encourage your staff to go through this and to create their own daily prompt that they work through each day to improve all of the aspects of what they do. External expertise. You might want to seek professional guidance in areas where uh, the internal expertise may be lacking. So I have worked a ton with various coaches and a lot of that has uh, helped me come up with all of this. It's been very impactful, but that leads me right into uh, my Patreon. Again, I've got a cheat sheet version of this. It has all of the prompts that we went through, including the one prompt to rule them all. Um, this one that will improve your business every single day for the rest of time. And again, you can customize this. You can share this with your team and have them customize it to uh, continuously improve what they're doing. Uh, I also offer some coaching options in my Patreon. So if you're looking to implement AI with your team and want some accountability, want some help with that, I'd be happy to uh, do that. I've been doing that for a handful of clients and really enjoy it. Uh, so thanks a ton for watching. I really hope you got something out of this video. Please feel free to like, subscribe, comment, share it with a friend, share it with your team, and I will see you in the next video. So just do it. Make your dreams come true. Just do it. <laughs>